Hello, I'm Georgia, I live in London, and this is everything I spend in a week. So the purpose of this video is to give people a sense of roughly how much it costs to live here in London. These are obviously all my personal expenses and every single person will have different expenses to me. Obviously I'll have a lot to discuss regarding my fixed expenses and general expenses throughout the week that aren't included in this vlog, but for now let's just dive straight into day one. Okay, so on Wednesday, I started with a morning coffee with Liam because he was heading into work for the day. So after grabbing a quick brew together, I headed back to work from home and then I didn't spend money again until I went out for lunch where I nabbed myself a tasty tuna sandwich. Tuesday, wait, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday and I've just finished work for the day. So we are now going to go get ramen. I'm gonna go meet Liam near his work. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go get some ramen. <laughs> made me realize that I spent a lot of my money eating out, which is totally fine. It's my money. I think why I don't mind spending money on eating out is that it gets me out of the house and a lot of my socializing happens over a meal. So I either catch up with friends or catch up with Liam or just have like some solo time eating a meal out and about and I really like doing that. I also live in a part of London where there are ample opportunities to eat out. Just within one to two blocks of my house is at least 10 restaurants and cafes. So they are all around and therefore that probably encourages me <laughs> to eat out more often as well. Obviously that's not for everyone, but that's enough about eating out. Now we'll jump into the next day. and I'm off to work although I like to work from home when I can it's nice to get into the office and see other people so that's what I'm heading in to do We had an evening social at work on this Thursday, which was really fun. Definitely my favorite type of social. It was clay building. We used two hand building techniques here. The first was pinch pots, so just pinching out the clay. And the second was coiling, where you create these little tubey spaghetti things that coil up and then you kind of smush them together and it is 10 out of 10 therapeutic and so meditative. Uh, we did this for a few hours and I ended up building a sweet little vase with cute little handles that I attached to it, as well as three little pinch pots, which I now put my jewelry in. So that was a great social. And then I just headed home on the tube. Uh, we also had dinner provided for us at the social as well. So not a whole lot of expenses on this day. Let's now talk about my fixed expenses. So those are things like rent, utilities, and subscriptions. My apartment is 1850 pounds per month. I split that with Liam, so I pay 213 pounds and 50 pence per week. Our internet with Hyperoptic is 35 pounds per month, so that's four pounds 
for me each week. So our water, we seem to be paying some company 41 pounds a month for water. So that comes to around five pounds for myself per week. Electricity is eight pounds per week. And this is shockingly low, especially because we're going through an energy crisis and this video was filmed through winter. We just happen to have an extremely energy efficient apartment. Like literally we have not turned the radiators on once all winter, uh, apart from to test if they were working at the start of winter. So we are ridiculously lucky to be in such an energy efficient home and pay such little for our electricity. In terms of gas, we also only pay um, very minimal three pounds there. And then we have Hackney City Council, which we have to pay. So this is something interesting that I learned moving to London. So back in Australia, homeowners or landlords have to pay city council. So whoever owns the home has to pay the city council. Whereas in London, whoever is residing in the home pays the city council. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking for rentals and also each home has a different council tax band. So I think we're in like one of the highest three bands and we pay 142 pounds per month. So split with Liam, that is 16 pounds per week that I pay. So other fixed expenses include subscriptions. I pay for my family's Disney Plus subscription, mostly to access The Simpsons, and that is one pound 50 per week. In the UK, you also pay for a TV license so that you can access BBC iPlayer. That comes to around £1.50 per week. I also have Spotify. I'm still on my Australian subscription from my original share house. So that is around four Aussie dollars a month or one Aussie dollars a week. And if we convert that to pounds, that's about 50 pence. I also have an Epidemic Sound subscription to add music to these videos. That is £9 per month or £2 per week. And then I'm very, very fortunate to have my health and dental insurance with my work, as well as my phone bills covered by my work. So those are my fixed expenses that are going to come out of my account every week unless I go in and cancel them. Now let's get back into the vlog and onto the next day of what I spend in a week. Hello, it is Thursday and I woke up at 7.30 this morning and went straight into work. Well, not into work, but straight into my computer screen and doing work. And it's now one o'clock and so I'm breaking for lunch and it's the first time I will have spent money today. So let's go drop some cash. to a friend's house to see their new place and we're gonna stop in and pick up some wine to take over and yeah then I don't know what else we might spend money on but we'll find out So we had the sweetest little evening at our friends. We weren't sure whether we were going out for dinner. That's why we only brought wine, but it turns out they had cooked a beautiful Ottolenghi pasta for us. So that was such a sweet little evening and we obviously saved a lot of money not buying dinner out. Good morning, it is Saturday. It's about 1 p.m. and we're heading out to get some food now. So this will be the first spend of the day. 
So I decided to keep in this winter ceramic pop-up because A, it's obviously cute and there were so many gorgeous pieces, but also I think it's representative of a Saturday or a Sunday walking around London and you kind of see something and you go in and you end up spending money randomly. So I feel like this is an accurate small expense that you kind of just drop on the weekend when you're walking around London and you see something cute. So we picked up a gorgeous little candle holder and we actually met the ceramicist there as well. We then went in search of food. <laughs> to get some pizza with some friends we've made recently. All right, we're cycling over because we're ridiculously late. We are due there at 6.30. It's now 6.40, so. Okay, so this Sunday was a bit random. We didn't really have any plans. So we ended up just going for a walk into Shoreditch. And then we went past Ottolenghi and we just had his pasta on Friday night. So we needed to top the weekend off with one of his sweet treats. So we picked up two desserts to eat later on in the day. And then we went for some lunch at Bao Noodle Shop. It's such a cute space, very gorgeous menus, and absolutely delicious food. This is really good. Okay, it is Sunday. We've been out this morning, just like being out and about because the sun was out and some lunch whilst we were out and now we're back at home and we're going to eat the cake and watch TV and just hang out at home for the afternoon. In this one we've got an apple and walnut cake and this is a type of cake that I still don't know what it is. The person mentioned it's very hard. Oh yeah, that is very hard. <laughs> Monday was a big cooking day for us. We ate a lot of meals at home because we were working non-stop. We had a pasta for lunch and then a curry for dinner. It wasn't all that exciting to be honest. So it's a little bit embarrassing that we got this far into the vlog and these are my first meals that I've cooked at home but I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's how we live our life. But I did want to touch on groceries, broadly speaking, and how I'm going to add them into this weekly spend. So essentially, we'll get a Sainsbury's delivery every week. We spend anywhere from 40 pounds, because that's the minimum spend to get it delivered, up to around 60 pounds. And that is going to include a few meals. It's also going to include snacks, like fruit or carrots or chocolate bars or popcorn, whatever it might be. And it's also going to include how household items like soap or paper towel or dishwashing liquid. 
So that's gonna cover all of our expenses to just kind of keep our cupboard stocked with food as well as other items that you generally need in a household. So given it's anywhere from 40 to 60 pounds, I'm going to average that out to 50 pounds and I split that with Liam. So I'm gonna add 25 pounds for groceries and that will also cover Sunday's meal and both of Monday's meals. I obviously didn't vlog myself snacking. It would be kind of boring to <laughs> visually document how many teas I have in a day. Okay, so that's the grocery bit. Now let's wrap up the final day of what I spend in a week. It is Tuesday and it's about I think 12.30 and we're heading out to get some lunch because the sun has come out so we're just excited to be outside in the sunshine so we're gonna go find some lunch. just gotten back from yoga I wasn't sure whether Liam was heading out to go to this like football game or not but it turns out uh, he is so in his place he has very kindly ordered me uber eats he got me olives as well got some olives and ragu Okay, so that's the week. Now I just want to touch on a few things that I didn't film in this vlog, but are obviously also part of my weekly expenses. So the first activity is exercise. I spend about 10 pounds a week on class pass. I have a heavily subsidized class pass membership through my work. So that 10 pounds gets me around four to five exercise classes, which is a huge saving from the regular class pass pricing. If I were to have a membership with my yoga studio, in which case I would be going four to five times a week, that would be around 20 pounds per week. The next activity is reading. I read a lot. Last year I read a book a week, made a little video about it too. And I wanted to include the cost of those books because that was obviously part of my weekly expenditure. So once I kind of remove library books or books that I borrow from people and then I buy a mix of physical books and Kindle books, I spend around seven pounds a week on books. And then the final activity is general events happening here in London. So obviously I'm living abroad and I want to get out and go to these events. So it might be something like a creative talk or a drag show or a play, whatever it might be. Roughly I've been looking at my expenses and I spend around the £30 mark per week to attend those. Obviously some can be as little as £5 and others might go up to 50 but I equalised around like the last six weeks of events that I attended and it sits around the £30 mark. So I'm also going to add that to my weekly expense. Okay, so that is how much I spent in a week. Wow, how exciting. If anyone was adding up throughout the video, good on you. But otherwise, if you want a quick breakdown, here's how much I spent per day, and here's how much my fixed expenses are, and how much those additional expenses are. In total, that brings what I spend in a week to be this amount, which I'll add on the screen later because I currently don't know the number. I'll go offline and do the calculations. <laughs> So I hope this was super helpful for anyone wondering how much it costs to live here in London and otherwise I hope you just enjoyed seeing how I spend my money in the week. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!